guys, welcome back. It's Carrie with Godly Gamers, where the game may change, but Christ's presence remains, where we keep God first and everything comes after. So with that being said, let's start things off with a word of prayer. Let's go before the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for another opportunity to record another video. God, I ask that you, that your spirit just infiltrate this enti the entire atmosphere of this video, God, that your rest, your grace, your favor, your mercies, your miracles, your blessings, whatever that you have for us, your love, your forgiveness, the recept the, the to be able to receive and experience your forgiveness and your release rather in, in our hearts in this atmosphere. I pray and ask that those things be found in this atmosphere in addition to whatever else it is that you have for us. I ask that you have your way and do what only you can do. And I thank you so much for our Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name, amen and amen. Amen, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video, Lord willing. And don't forget the fact that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you best. Enjoy the video. haven't done that. How's it going? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Goodbye. See ya. That's done. That's done. Haven't done that.
What is it you want now? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. But what a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. I'll let you go. Bye. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Bye. I must go now, Nancy. What can I do for you? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? It was open, and I just looked through it. Oh. I have no idea. What else can I do for you? Talk to you later. See ya. Good recovery on Daryl's question about Jake's locker. Thanks, Uncle Steve. Anything else? When the police looked through Jake's locker, did they take a videotape? No. We didn't. You're thinking there's something important on that tape. Important enough that Jake hit it. Something like that. Good lead. Find that videotape, Nancy. Goodbye. See you later. Hey, Nancy. Need something? See you later. Bye, Nancy. Nancy, you can't go in there. But I have a key. Yeah, right. You're still not getting in on my watch. Good job, Nancy. Better tell Connie to come fix it.
Hey, Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Did that. Still have to do that. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. Ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. That's done. Can't check that off yet. <laughs>